major problem that I see as a scientist is that science is organized on predictability. The whole point of science is, in fact, to find circumstances which are as unpredictable as possible and see what happens. That's our trade. So that's not altogether conducive to long-range predictions. We are probably the least qualified to make long-range long predictions of anybody. Nevertheless, we do it. So let me just try one or two. It's, it's, uh, I'm not really thinking long-range these days. My, my, I'm, I'm 81 years old, so my horizons are getting a little bit constricted. One question I like to think about is domestication of biotechnology. That's to me very much in our future, but it's, it's not the long range future. This is only 50 or 100 years, long enough for me. I look at what happened to computers. When von Neumann built his first computer in Princeton, he had absolutely no idea that computers were ever going to be small and cheap. He thought they would always be big and huge and expensive. They would belong to big organizations. And that so the, the, the legend is that the, the United States government asked John von Neumann, how many, how many computers does the United States need? And he said, 818. <laughs> that was the order of magnitude. Well, of course, it turned out totally different. He never imagined computers getting so small and cheap that ladies would use them for doing household accounts and kids would use them for doing homework and three-year-olds would use them as, as toys. Now, of course, our three-year-olds are as addicted to computers as we are and that's our fate for the rest of the world. The, time as far as we can see ahead. Well, if you look at the way biotechnology is today, it's in the hands of large corporations and industries, and the public distrusts it for good reason in the hands of com companies like Monsanto, who is, is the sort of whipping boy for the environmentalists. Monsanto is, in fact, a very good company and doing good stuff. But nevertheless, they get blamed because they're big and because they do things like putting pesticides into crop plants which you can easily translate into putting poisons into food. And that's what they do. And it's unfortunate. It was, also, it was unfortunate that von Neumann used his computer for designing hydrogen bombs, which also gave his computers a bad reputation. But it can change, and I think it will change. And what I foresee is that biotech is going to go the same way that computers went. It will become small and cheap and user-friendly. And there's a whole world out there of people who are wonderfully devoted gardeners and animal breeders, people who love snakes and love lizards and people who love roses and people who love orchids. And, and they'll all have little kits that they can actually use at home for programming genomes. And they can just, this will be a new art form as lively as cinema or painting or sculpture. The world will change. Biotech will become creative. And people's feelings about it will change too. Mm -hmm.